Virgo, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, subscribe if you would like to book a personal. The information is below. For the month of February, when you do book, you'll receive a complimentary love reading for Valentine's Day. So just throwing that out there. Also, if you would like to join members, just log on from a laptop and you can click join right at the top of my page. It should be there for you. Let's say a quick prayer and let's just jump into it. Um, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Virgo on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. Um, I'm excited to do this reading. I really am. Um, there's a lot of songs. Like, when I started channeling for you, so many different songs came out. Like, <laughs> I can't wait to really get into this. Um, I left off last night with Pisces, which is your opposite. You might want to go watch their reading. I was so tired, like I have no energy for that reading, but there might be some good information in there for you. But let's just jump into your channel messages. Isn't There's not too many today, so. Um, so go back to your camera roll to October 4th. 2019 i'm hearing congruent and like visually i just saw a 90 degree angle in my mind 10-4 is also police code for everything is okay so something about law enforcement or police officers could be significant with you but just go check october 4th 2019 or you could have began something in 2019 something started in 2019 here you could be from the middle east you could be from russia canada africa here also something about august 16th or 888 something about the leo full moon on the 16th is going to be significant for you go back in your camera roll to march 1st 2020 and may 1st 2020 and see how those two dates tie together some of you could could have a chow chow, like a dog, or you could have grown up with one. Also, whenever you see this video, set your timer, like stop what you're doing right now, set your timer for five hours um, and see what happens when the timer goes off in five hours and then come back and let me know, okay? Um, what time is it right now? It's 9.44 a.m. Today is February 8th. Okay, so it's the 8th today and it's Tuesday. So that could be significant. Um, the time, 2.30. It might be 2.30 when you're watching this. I was also hearing like father, like son, or something isn't able to like measure up. So I was thinking about a dynamic of a father and son. The father has really big shoes to fill and the, the son feels the pressure of that. Your family could be in law enforcement. Like you could be like your dad is like the chief and you have to be like, you know, follow his footsteps or you feel that way or this could have been in the past you don't have to do anything you know your parents life is theirs your life is yours so never feel obligated to follow anybody's footsteps but your own um then what else i was hearing that song choosy it always comes up for leo but it came up for you something about three days from now then this is the good part i was hearing rock star rock star rock star and like 50 songs came to mind and they're all different categories so first i was hearing rock star lifestyle might don't make it living life high every day click wasted uh, gucci man then i heard that song this like how does it go all this jewelry is mine all of these hoes ain't mine shawty wanna rock star okay then i heard that then <laughs> This one took it way back. I was so appalled by this, but I heard Cause we all just wanna be big rock stars living in hilltop houses driving 15 cars The girls come easy and the drugs come cheap and we all stay skinny cause we just won't eat And we'll hang out in the coolest bars and the VIP with the movie stars Every good gold digger's gonna wind up there every playboy I don't even know country music, but I do remember that song. So some of you guys could love country music. I'm so, I'm not gonna say I'm embarrassed that I just did that, it needed to be done, but wow. I just see someone like playing this clip at my birthday party in like five years. <laughs> remember when you did this? Okay, God bless. Let, I was gonna try to look up and see when that song came out. 
but my computer is like stuck on the calendar right now. There we go. <laughs> Nickelback. Nickelodeon could be significant. This song came out in 2005. Wow. Wow. The cast of the video, Ricky, Lindsay, Taryn, and Eliza. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's get into your reading. That was fun. <laughs> Ooh, I hear a helicopter outside. Something about a tower moment. Sounds like war. Okay, Virgo. Virgo, <laughs> I see a rainbow. So Pisces energy, you could be dealing with the Pisces or excited for Pisces season. Like I said, it is your opposite, so you should be really feeling good energy around that time. Uh, Virgo, what's going on, Virgo? I'm hearing you are now terrified. 612, 666. <laughs> Alignment. Shuffle for Virgo. I feel like it's gonna be a good message. Yeah, integrity. So something about honesty. Honesty is the best policy here. Sagittarius energy, some type of travel, but truth on the bottom of the deck. Something's coming to life for you because either Honesty is your best policy, like spirit can see that you lead with integrity, you lead with truth, and I feel like you're going to be rewarded for that during Pisces season, especially if you've been leading with compassion, helping out those around you, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah, doing all the right things. I'm hearing all the right things. Something from 2014 here. There's something from 2014 coming back around, but I see the chariot in reverse. I'm hearing like breaks, like screech or halt. I'm hearing, yeah, Virgo energy, the community. You could be consulting with your mother about something, 9, 9, 18, or getting some type of advice. There could have been a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that came back into your life and you could be confused about this dynamic, seeking counsel from a mothering energy or someone that feels like a mother. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, specifically Sag, since it came out twice. I'm getting Sagittarius and Capricorn energy heavy. But yeah, if someone's coming back from 2014, I see the chariot in reverse 777. Something about this situation may not be right for you, yeah. But definitely some confusion about this. Yeah, the last seven. So you could be having the courage to be honest with somebody about how you feel. This could be your mother. This could be a Sagittarius. As long as you're leading the conversation with compassion, I feel like you'll be fine. But I definitely see you wanting to have... Or if this isn't something from 2014, this is something that you started with a Sagittarius, Cancer, or Capricorn energy, but it's like you don't wanna continue in that direction and you're trying to have courage here on how to be honest about the situation, leading with integrity, something about the community is here and compassion is here as well. So I hear sirens outside. Um, I feel like this full moon, if you've been overlooking any feelings or turning a blind eye, I don't think you'll be able to do that. You see how the eyes are closed here, but this eye, the third eye is still open. I don't think you'll be able to hide how you feel or like, dis I'm hearing disguise, master of disguises. That's a Sagittarius reading, so you might wanna go watch that. Yeah, fear here, 53, that's an eight here. You could be dealing with a Leo. It's like you're really scared to talk about something. Initiation, yeah. Wow. Clarify? Okay, so this new beginning, this new start that you are trying to have, you're gonna realize that it's only gonna start truly like when you're Maybe in Pisces season, so towards the end of February, going into March, the beginning of March, I feel pressure in my heart. Like it's like right here and like right here. Isn't the heart on the left side? Yeah, I went away, but see, <laughs> I don't like how that felt. <laughs> um, 
Pisces has something about the rib. You might have like heart palpitations or like something about your heart could be significant. I'm hearing sleep apnea. <sighs> 10, 10, Virgo, what the fuck is going on? But okay, this initiation will begin in Pisces season because it's like whatever you've been holding back, whatever conversation you haven't been having, it's gonna get to a point where it's like, I see a pot full of water bubbling over. It's something that's about to spill out. But you're gonna realize that by having this conversation that you are so afraid to have, it's gonna make you feel a lot more powerful. It's gonna make you feel a lot more balanced. This could be with your father. Like it's gonna show you how strong you truly are. And also I feel like you're kind of like, you're not giving proper, Every time I'm watching my videos back, like the words are like right there. I'm like, say that, say that. But like while I'm recording, I'm like, damn, what's that word again? And the word is like, <laughs> so simple. But it's, I feel like you're not giving someone like, I can't think of the word, but what I'm trying to say is like a chance. Like you might be jumping to conclusions before even really giving this person a chance to surprise you with their maturity. So it's like you're assuming that something's going to go this way. So you have a lot of fear behind this integrity. But if you replace that with compassion, you'll see that I feel like someone's more mature than you're giving them credit for. So just be aware of that. Don't like use your own your own fears and your own situations to like try to dictate how somebody else is gonna react through the lens of their own experience and their own lives. So it, it doesn't work that way, it doesn't add up. So you might have been doing this, you may be realizing this and ending that cycle as well. It'll be a lot more productive for you and everyone involved. So 12 Sagittarius energy, Pisces energy. Okay, let's get into the Akashic. Virgo. <laughs> Still thinking about the song. Virgo. Two more. Okay. I'm thinking about this video I saw like last week because I just saw a passport on my wall up there and it was this little girl and she found her mom's passport and the passport said alien and it had like all these holograms of you know how passports look in the front like you can see the earth and the space and stuff like that and the little girl was crying because she thought her mom was an alien <laughs> so something about like a misunderstanding could be significant here could be dealing with a tourist or something in the home life you could be from a foreign country Definitely for a Virgo. Okay. It's like you have a lot to say, but you don't want to say it. It's like every time you open your mouth, you shut it again. Like I can tell by the way the cards are shuffling here. Journey on the bottom of the deck. Something about three days from now. Leo energy. Three days. I feel like you're going to be bringing things back into balance over the next three days. So between now and Friday, yeah, the journey begins. Whatever's been out of balance here, whatever you've been trapped and these feelings and these thoughts, I feel like they're gonna be alleviated. You're finally gonna realize like how to have this conversation. Yeah, 15, 15 right here. You're making a choice, the lookout. 16, 17. So this really could be something from 2016, 2017 that hasn't been resolved here. But over the next three days, three weeks, three months, but I'm really feeling it's more immediate than that. Usually my readings are pretty like current. Um, I see something kind of just coming out of nowhere. Straight from the, I'm hearing straight, I'm seeing straight out of Compton, but I'm hearing straight out of the ethers, like 1407, 777 right there. Yeah, something's gonna be healed. But I see 1515 for sure. It's something about a contract, a choice, like a really, really big choice. Something about a phone call could be significant. This willow always looks like it's like ringing, you know? Like when you receive a phone call. Something about the first day of Pisces season? When does that begin? Let's see, let's see that really quick. The architect right here. 25% on my battery, the metamorphosis right here. Three minutes till 10 o'clock. So three days, yeah, three days right there. Okay. 
first. season what oh it starts on the 18th so on the 18th between so 10 days that's 10 days away from now yeah something about 10 days libra energy yeah intricacies in the industry at work diversity i don't know you might be presented with new options like, it's kind of like going into your boss's office and they're like, so, Virgo, you've been doing well here for the last eight years, but what do you think about us moving you to Mexico? You know, would you like to work there? Something about a complete change in scenery, a complete change in pace. Let's get some advice on what we've pulled thus far. Shut the curve, Virgo. This is the turning point, like you're about to, you're headed towards the turning point in your life. Yeah, all Virgo energy here. Cautious but wise action, meticulous attention to detail and kindness to others. So remember we said as long as you're leading with compassion, you should be fine in whatever this is. I see the number six here. You could be dealing with the Gemini or this is all about communication or a conversation. The good that you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of money, borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. So remember that boss coming in like, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? The good you do comes back to you. Because you lead with kindness, then you get rewarded. I mean, that's not why you should lead with kindness. It shouldn't be, you know, to get rewarded, but that's just what happens. I see a tower moment here, like we said in the beginning, 10 and six, 16 right there. Take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones, making wise investments, planning for retirement, and honoring your family's traditions. Okay. Very good energy. Very solid energy, Virgo. Yeah, the world. Here in the world is yours. We got three more decks to get through. We have this one, this one, and the light and shadow attributes deck. Oh, um, a lot of you guys comment and you guys ask me what's the avocado deck called. To this day, I cannot for the life of me figure out what you what, what deck you're talking about because none of my to me, none of my decks look like they have avocados on them. But I'm kind of seeing it as like one of those abstract pictures, you know, like when you look at a picture, one person will see one thing, another person will see another thing. So I feel like it's like that because multiple people have been like, oh, what's the avocado deck? What's, what's the avocado deck? And I'm like, yo, I don't know. Like, I, I don't have that. <laughs> talking about so if, if you have ever commented that please like clarify or let me know what time that i use so i can like get that information to you guys i don't know why i just thought about that but it's happened so many times what's the name of the avocado deck and i'm looking at all my decks like who is it who is it six of coins Ooh, so if you took a risk, much like Capricorn's last reading, if you took a risk, I see it paying off for you. Something about Zoom meetings or something about um, working from home. I'm seeing back-to-back -back Zoom calls here, but whatever you invested in, I feel like you're gonna get a return on your investment here. It's also reminding me of that Gemini reading with the six here. By Wednesday, you'll receive a return on investment. And that full moon falls on a Wednesday, so I would definitely advise that you go watch that. If anything that they were going through at that time is happening for you now, there's some very valuable information in there. Yeah, tower. Tower moment it is approaching six of coins. Maybe you're gonna realize, yeah, knight of coins that you made a proper investment. Oh, also, well, hold on. I might, I'll save that for Aquarius. Let me just write that down really quick. Okay. All right, 
so yeah, there's gonna be a tower moment for you, and then I see the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify this really quick. Something from 2016, I'm telling you. 2016, it's been six years since 2016, right? For six, yeah, look, 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 look. A judgment call, 2016, six years, you're moving forward. So whether you're moving on from something from six years ago or whether you're like finishing out that cycle, like something got paused and now you're about to walk back into it. Yeah, 10 right there on my battery percentage, 10%. There's something going on from 2016. Another six, the lovers. So alignment. Remember in the beginning where we were like, you are now terrified, and then it was 612. There's some type of alignment happening for you as we speak. Hour by hour, things are changing. Watch that reading of yours. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, whereas you have to do all this to get what you have, now it's kind of just going to be flowing to you for whatever reason. Because of this tower that's happening, you'll know when it hits. I feel like it's going to happen on a Wednesday, just throwing it out there. But yeah, Seven of Cups. You're going to have a lot of options. Ace of Cups. All of them are going to make you happy. judgment yeah <laughs> okay me looking at every deck closely for avocados i'm so <laughs> y'all are funny shuffling for virgo I see someone like meeting someone new. This is so random. This is like the most random vision I ever got. I see someone meeting someone new and their name is like, they introduce themselves. They're like, hello, You're like, yeah, I'm Damon. I'm Damon. And they're like, whatever. <laughs> and then maybe you start dating this person or something. You become friends with this person. Things start going a little bit weird. And then it's like months later, you write this person's name out and you're like, wait, his name, his name spells demon. It makes sense. Oh my goodness. I don't know if anybody met somebody named like Damon. I'm hearing, I'm, I keep hearing Damon. Devon, Damon. Oh my goodness. It's kind of reminding me of like Lil Uzi Vert and like his whole wordplay on his name. Oh my goodness, this is one more. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, or if you're a guy watching this, you meet somebody and she's like, yeah, my name's Lucy Fern. And then it's like, much, months later, you write out her name and you're like, does that say Lucifer? I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know where that's coming from. Three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I truly, I don't know where that came from. This could be about like meeting people online, like be careful meeting people on these apps, on like Bimble, Bumble, Tinder, what else do people do? Um, Christian Mingle, I think, eHarmony, eHarmony, if y'all are still doing that, just be careful. Because even if it's not like the name is like that, I just see you maybe meeting someone casually and then just realizing way later down the road, like this is not a good person or something like that. Yeah, gotta go, <laughs> got to go. It's like maybe you have a dream. You could be literally sleeping next to this person. You have this dream and you wake up, you're like, ah, uh -uh, I got to go. We got to get out of here. This cycle has to end. This is coming apart. The number 46 in one of my decks literally is coming apart. So whatever you feel, trust your instincts. If you have any Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart, yeah, everything is fine in reverse. Everything is not fine. You need to call judgment on the situation. Leave this person out in the cold. 25, metamorphosis. Hell no. Hell no. I'm hearing hour by hour things are changing. 
Oh my goodness, 28 minus eight right here, that's 20, that's judgment. You need to make the choice, make the choice for yourself. So whatever this is in your life, I feel like you're able to pinpoint what it is, how this all started coming out after we were talking about that. You need to go ahead and eradicate it because it's holding you up from your 10 of pentacles here. Everything that you've been working for, it's like you're working, 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 it's in reverse because you're like, why am I not seeing the ROI? right there you know 18 mothering energy cancer energy double virgo energy right here but you have to go back to the drawing board it's like there's something in the home life or there's something you've been dreaming about something you need to move away from complete the cycle right here because it's not this isn't something that's meant to like pan out different in the future this is something that is not good for you everything is fine upright that would be like oh my god a shock oh my goodness information that you know i was just laying here all sad and then i got this text and now it's like oh everything's fine you know but in reverse yeah um 13 yeah death and transformation here this could be an aquarius energy this could be leo energy because leo kind of got this too it was like the lovers are right there pink clouds everything's fine then it was like bam 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 all these swords just popped out of nowhere somebody being left out in the cold back to virgo energy 18 right there so the 18th starting we said the first day of pisces season is the 18th so between now the next 10 days you're coming to terms with something like i'm hearing it's final three four five six ten no seven eight nine you just go straight to ten you just gotta get out here's the eight i need to get back to work you gotta go i'm just hearing you gotta go so i don't know what this is i don't know what this is this is crazy but you know you know, yeah, Ten of Cups. Trade it for the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles right there. I see someone trading like Pokemon cards. Yeah, the sun here in reverse. You're gonna, re look, Virgo energy popping out right here, the Hermit, you're gonna realize something. Something's gonna be illuminated to you. This could be online. This could be something about online, dealing with the Virgo. This could be something about your father as well. You could be a father, maybe like that dynamic. If you have like, um, obviously if you're a father, then you have <laughs> a baby mother. But it could be something like that. You're gonna know what this is over the next nine days, 10 days, you're gonna know. And I see you like bringing all your power, all your resources back to you where they should have been. Right foot, left foot, hands, crown, yours. Yeah. And don't be, don't be like scared to be a little bit stingy with your energy. Like I know peace, love, happiness and all that, but not at the detriment of yourself. So just always remember that. Like if you're in mental conflict, if you're not happy, justice needs to be called on a situation, the moon in reverse, bringing it back to you. So first day of February, it's yours. Ten, ten. 21 on the battery percentage, all sevens. IJS. Death and transformation as a light attribute. What do we say? It's a big, big change. Wow, I've never noticed. Wow, I've had this deck for so long. I've never noticed the hourglass on his flag. Like something about 10 days, like time, time's ticking. And I don't feel like this is physical, like a physical death, but I just feel like it's a death to what you currently know and a rebirth to something new, you know? Shuffle for Virgo. Six of Cups, I see something from the past. Ten of Swords. Oh. Someone from the past might be reaching out to you. Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands, Temperance, Ten of Serpents, Six of Swords. Okay. Okay. So light attribute, death here. There's something that you want to change. You feel something changing. You feel something approaching. Some of you may want to like 
rekindle something from your past. I see the Six of Cups here, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You've been thinking about something nonstop, day and night here. And Ten of Swords is getting to that point. Is getting to that point. It's about to cause a tower either within yourself or just within your dynamic period. So Ten of Serpents. You're like, okay, I realize I want to invest in this. Six of Swords. So what your, I don't want to say underlying motives are, but what your goal is, is to get in a position to either rekindle something. It's giving me the energy of a guy that wants to work hard for like his future and like the woman that he sees in his future or something like that. It's giving me that. Or it's like you can't really make options right now because you're kind of tied to something. Queen of Wands energy, but then temperance right at the perfect time and you're gonna call judgment. And something from 2016 for some of you, 2013 for others of you is gonna be coming back around. You're gonna have to make a really big decision. Six of cups, seven of cups. That's 13 cups with the 13. Yeah, something's about to change. Judgment. 2014 is here too. You could have met your life partner like eight years ago. Hold on. Eight years ago, seven years ago. And because eight and seven has been a theme lately. And that's a contract when they're together. I'm hearing that song that's like, I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Baby, I'm cool all by myself. But baby, you, you make me better. You make me better. Yeah, so 10, 10 again, you're, you're reminiscing on something. Yeah, you're about to call, you're about to call judgment on something. Justice, King of Serpents, here you are. Page of Swords in reverse. You're done watching, you're ready to take action. The moon, so the 18th, first day of February season. You need to circle that in your calendar. Circle it in your calendar. Let's see, any final messages? Ten of Serpents, expect a lot of, um, a lot of money from your job, your work to be going really well. And the hangman, Pisces season. If there's, if it's been silent, if it's been silent, four of swords right here as a dark attribute, like nothing, nothing. I'm hearing the abysmal or I'm hearing the abyss. Like, it's like nothing. I'm seeing those scenes in movies when they put people in like those white foamed rooms and it's like, it's nothing there. But then it's Pisces season as a dark attribute, the hangman, the moon, the first day of Pisces season is the 18th, right? Then things change. I see the Two of Cups as a dark attribute, Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So this Leo full moon here, this tower right here, I can't, I can't pinpoint it for all of you, but just know there's gonna be a big, big change. Seven of Serpents right here, yeah. Your money, like, there's something that you need to release before your money could go up. Something was causing you just a lot of mental conflict. How are you going to put time and energy into work when you're always mentally conflicted about something else? So you're going to notice, like, when this energy is removed from your life, your finances will go up. If, it, if this isn't, like, a physical person, I feel like this is your thought pattern. So whatever thoughts are getting in the way of you right now by February I almost said February 1st. By February 18th, I see you going in a different direction. It's not serving you, Queen of Wands here, so you're going in a different direction, Three of Swords. I see you having to hurt feelings, hearing that song, Hurt Feelings by Mac Miller, but if it's for the betterment of you, judgment is gonna be called. And like I keep telling all the signs, like when we don't call judgment on ourselves, some wild shit just happens out of nowhere. And it's not out of nowhere. That's God forcing his hand to change a situation. So if there's something that you know needs to be changed or whatever, and you're like, no, like next week, uh, like next month. Oh no, like, yeah. If something random and crazy just kind of happens, just know it's not random. It's not crazy. It's the divine three of wands two of wands getting you to go in the direction that you need to go which is away from the conflict five of wands my dog just barked <laughs>
and it sounded like he was outside which confused me but i forgot he's out there on the balcony so that is where we end this story god bless virgo i hope you have a great week and i will see you guys next week